Yo, what's up everyone? Hopefully everyone can hear me okay. Um, today we're going to go to the new DLC, Bergsy, which I can't wait to get on. Um, I'm just going to set this laptop up, guys, so we can get things going. Um, I wasn't feeling 100%, so I do apologise about the live, um, the late stream. A lot later than I, I wanted to do it, I've got to be honest. Let's just uh, click on a few bits here. Okay, let's change the thumbnail. So just bear with me a second, guys. Just want to change some thumbnails and things like that. Get a few people in. Uh, desktop. I've got a thumbnail set up already. Uh, where is it? Where is it? It's here somewhere. So this is the setup I've decided to go with today. Um, obviously, I've put the worms on for the pure fact that there's perch in here. So I really would like to catch a couple of them perch. I think there's only a couple of boss perch. Only two, but we'll take a look at that in a second. Just bear with me, guys. Save changes. Yes, awesome. Back to watch page. Bear with me, and I will say hello to everyone in the chat. We are going to absolutely storm this lake. I've not even looked at it yet, so that could be interesting. I'm, I don't even know. I've not seen any pictures of it other than people uh, posting pictures of fish. Uh, right, I've just got two things to do. One, that's done, and let that save. Your changes are being saved. So as you can see, I've gone with the milky toffee boilies because I know there's big, uh, there's some good sized carp in here, and I know the carp love the milky toffee. I've gone with a hex 14 mil. Uh, both, both of those are pop ups. I've just got to write dovetail in here, and we're good to go. Dovetail games Euro fishing. Here we go. Right, now we can get to the watch page. So, hello to everyone. Right, so, as you can see here, what I've done quickly is I've changed back to the Sonic Torno 10,000s. I really like these reels. I think they're the best looking reels in the game. I've put the Calder 18 pound Supernatural Braid on in brown. Um, I wanted something a little bit stronger than the 15 pound mono I was using. And I've done that across three rods. So we've gone for the Demberine, yeah, them big live worms. You can use them on size 10 to size 14, I think. So I've gone with a size 10 IQD rig on silt, because when you read the read-up of certain boss fish, they say, yeah, um, they like to be caught on silt. I'm just going to check this audio quickly, guys, make sure it's good. Right, audio is good, awesome. Let's have a quick look who we got in the stream. Right, before I do that, let's go to Angler's Log. Let's go boss fish all the way down to... Right, so these are some of the fish that we're going to be fishing for. We'll quickly say hello. Jack, hi. Jack496, hi. Jack Barlow, hi. Hedgedoo's in the stream. Welcome, my friend. Raider Gamer, sup, bro? Matthew, welcome. Danny, welcome. Big time of Jay's in the house. Hello, my friend. I hope you're keeping well. Thank you for turn, uh, turning up. That sounds so bad, doesn't it? Thank you for uh, tuning in, buddy. Much appreciated. Uh, Joe Tokens is in the stream. Welcome, my friend. James Docks is in the stream. Welcome. Leighton Jones, welcome, my friend. Matthew, welcome. Matt, Big Matt's in the house. Welcome, my friend. AJ, yo, yo, yo. How you doing, my friend? Ben Waters, yo. Yo, Gordon Ramsay, I just hit the like, buddy. Yep, so Ben's put Gordon Ramsay because I cooked for the first time all year. I was cooking pancakes for the family. Christopher, welcome. Paul Paul Bradburn's in the house. Yo, how you doing, man? Noddy Taylor, Kieran. Oh, nice one, guys. GC's in the house. Miss Spirit Wolf's in the house. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Michael and Bradders. Welcome, guys. Right, so let's quickly fly through this and then we can go fishing. So, got a Miracarp called Summit, £36.13. ounces. Arnie, Miracarp, £33.11. ounces. Muddy, Miracarp, £30. A lot of £30 carp in here. Pots. A fish called Ben. Now, I've got to catch that. Ben, I've got to catch that. All right. £32.10. Tobias, common, £32. Hancock, Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. Holy G. 
which is a uh, koi carp, Jana koi carp, Albert koi carp, Peak leather carp, Game Show ghost carp. Will that be a missing ghost carp? I wonder. Cliff ghost carp, SJ awesome. Then we got. Range, which is a common bream. Lucas, a common bream. Breeze, a common bream. The Bull, a common bream. Scar, common tench. Florian, is that? Common tench. Soap, common tench. Percy the Perch. Yes, that's what we want. We want a perch. Let's catch a perch today. That'd be really cool. So that's £3.08 ounces. And you've got stripes as well at £4.06 ounces. Then you've got random, which is a roach. Lena, 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 common roach, Mozart, which is a common roach, and Vienna, which is a common tench. Awesome. Let's get on the lake, guys. I need to see this lake. I've not even seen it, like I said. Uh, I've been a little bit unwell today, so hence why I hadn't seen it. I... Right, let's go. Light clouds, static. I'm going to change that to three hours because apparently when it gets dark on this lake, it gets really dark. So I've been tipped off about that, so we're definitely going to take care there. Monkey Man, yo, welcome. Caught my first small plate today. Bought the Lactanor DLC and caught the 44 kilo unnamed catfish. And going to buy more DLCs for a few days, Manor and Foundry. What should I get first? Mm, foundry was good, but I think Mana was better. Mrs. Big Timer Jay's in the house. Yo, how are you? I hope you're keeping well, sweets. Um, Clive Jackson. I caught a ghost boss in La Lac Donor and ghost hunter trophy didn't pop up. Oh, no. Miss Spirit Wolf has been robbed of a trophy. I had that originally on um, the Foundry. I think it... Ooh. That looks like a PlayStation controller, that lake. Uh, I don't really know. We haven't got a clue, so we might as well start at the top and work down. What do you reckon? We'll have a look for a few shame fish first, guys. That's definitely the one. Joe Tokens caught Hulk yesterday. Nice one. I see on a Facebook page that someone had all boss fish in the first session. Oh, my God. Wow, look at this place. Look at the mountains and stuff. Look, there's snow on the top of the mountains. and That's pretty cool. Right. So we're looking for showing fish. It's not a big lake, to be honest. It's not a big lake at all. Let's have a look around. Not seeing any signs, really. Just have a little walk down. We can see some shame fish. That'll help us out a little bit. I am going fishing tomorrow. Wish me luck. Good luck, buddy. Uh, I'm trying to keep up with your comments, guys, whilst doing this as well. AJ says, thank you. No worries, my friend. Still can't catch pink belly, big bud. Have you got it yet? I haven't caught it yet either. Looking for advice if you can help. I've lost all my profile data. It said my data was corrupted would dovetail have it on the servers and i wouldn't hold out much hope for that lee if i'm honest but hannah big bug i've bought season pass with the extras but i'm having to pay for new dlc do you know why no you shouldn't be paying for the dlc no you shouldn't be paying for the dlc you need to double check that Hi, I'm going fishing tomorrow. Make sure you've downloaded the season pass correctly. Right, let's let's set up quickly before I go into any of your comments. It's very difficult sometimes. So, uh, I have no idea what's in this lake. I've no idea how deep it is. Let's let's cast this out and have a have a little feel for the lake. Let's whack that out in the middle. Hey, big bug, what kind of fish are you are in this pond? We got koi carp. Bream, tench, roach, perch. Perch are the new one. 24 foot deep. Look at that. Holy cow. That's a long way. So you've got a bit of gravel there. A lot of gravel there. And you got... Oh, there's a bit of weed. That's encouraging. A lot of weed, in fact. And then silt. I think we're going to fish here. 
Where's the pegs? How can you tell where the pegs are? Ah, right, there's one here apparently. Alright, so I've picked a, a swim with weed, silt and gravel if I want it, so no worries there. Right, what we're going to do then, we're going to put on the size 10 IQD rig and we're going to put that on a nice live worm. We're going to cast that close, like 15 yards. Beast King, welcome. Ryan, welcome. What platform are you on? Is it Xbox? Says Big Timer J. Uh, Rod 2. We're going to have that on the Milky Toffee, yep. And we're going to put that in the weed. Just a little bit further out. Jason Park. Big Bug, you are the best on YouTube on your own fishing. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Jason. So nice of you to say, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you. I don't think I'm the best. Somehow there's a lot better than me out there, but I really appreciate your kind comments, my friend. And let's put this one in the weed as well. I mean, why not? Let's go on that rig and... Oh, actually, I really want to fish that little tuna boily as it happens. Let's cast this out. Is there boss perch? Yes, there is. There's two boss perch. Uh, one called Stripey and one called Percy. I think it was. Percy and Stripey. Michael Wells says, or Michael Y says hi. You are Godsmacked. Read that one. Bug, what is the new best bait? Wow, good question. Um, I really like the Milky Toffee. I'm not going to lie to you. I think the Milky Toffee is awesome. Um, the Glow in the Dark Boilies are quite good as well. They've caught me boss fish. I don't know. It's hard to say at this point. Maybe with the, in the future it'll be something I'll be able to uh, judge more on. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. Thank you, Big Timer Jay. You're an absolute star. If you guys could smash... Well, I'm, I'm not going to say smash that like. Smash that like sounds so like crap. Prawns are very good. Do you know what? I didn't bring no prawns. Wow. What an idiot. I should have brought prawns. Well, we'll see how we get on. I mean, first cast and all that. We'll spot up a little bit and we'll see how we get on. Not seeing many showing fish though, that's what's worrying me right now. The lake is very deep. So we'll have to see how we get on. Still pressing the wrong button to bring the spot in though. Still can't get out of the habit of pressing that shoulder button. Having to download from PS Store. Yeah, I'm having to download it from the PS Store. I had to download it from the PS Store as well. Uh, Miss Spirit Wolf, if I'm honest. Matt says, I caught 13 pound 3 ounce tench called Soap. Very nice, dude. Very nice. Okay, right. Let's draw that in. Let's just keep an eye out because I'm not seeing a lot of fish. Which is always a worry. Oh. The worm is off. Let's see what we get. Keep tension down. The good thing about this lake is there isn't a lot of places the fish can run. I mean, it doesn't matter where they go, other than the bank, obviously, if they was to go up the bank. But generally, you're not really going to struggle. A little fighter, this one. Rug 2 is just screaming off. It's just like a, a big fish bowl, this lake. So, happy days. Rod 2 is having it. I think, that's, I think the Rod 2 was the Milky Toffee Boilies, if I'm honest. Dino, yo, welcome. Ryan, non-stop boss tench over £14. It's a big increase. Oh, nice. I didn't see what size the boss tench were, actually. Should have had a look. Come on. Yes. Right. Rod 2. That looked like a little carp. First fish. 
that's it, the uh, real tension back, it was a little bit high. Just add Scar again. Oh, you guys are smashing it. Hi, Big Bug. I went fishing the other day and got done by a carp and I bought some new boilies called Cool Candy. Oh, nice. They sound good enough to eat, dude. Dino says, hey, Bug. Hey, you, my friend. Big time, I watch your favourite. Uh, bug is golden in this stream. Is golden in this stream. I've not seen golden, my friend. Not yet. He might pop in. There we go. Let's see if we can get this one in. First two fish. Come on. In you come. Come on. Fighting well. I think maybe another little carp. Oh, wow. Those are smashing it, Ryan. Nice little koi. We're landing that one straight away. Always good, mate. How's you? I'm awesome, dude. Thank you. Hi, Bug. I'm currently in Austria skiing. Have you had any bosses? Not yet, my friend. We've just started. So, oh, look at the size of that. That's a nice cut. £23.11. Koi cut. Not bad start. What rod was that on? That was on two. Let's get that one back out. So we'll put that on the uh, the weed because I've got the hinge stiff rig on. Or the hinge rig, whatever you want to call it. And rod one. Here we go. Nice fish. What is it? Leather carp, £22, not bad. Let's get that rod too before it disappears. <coughs> Excuse me, wow. Okay. Yeah, so like I was saying, I think <clears throat> when you uh, hook into a decent fish, there's not many places it can go other than across the lake or... So, that's pretty good. We haven't got to worry about it going behind an island or anything like that. Give this a little bit more stick, see if we can get it in. Come on, in you come. Hello, Big Bug. What's the biggest you've caught so far? I think it was 22 or 23 pound. We've only had two fish so far, buddy, so... <clears throat> we were just going through the boss fish at the start of the stream, so you've not really missed a lot, to be honest. Surprising, not seeing a lot of fish showing. So, might might be something worth keeping an eye on. We see showing fish, obviously we'll move. Come on, in you come. Yes, another koi. Wow. Percy or stripes, best call in the margins. Maybe give it give that a shot. I definitely will, my friend. Thank you. Twenty pound? Nice koi. I wanna catch a perch, that's why I put the worm rig on. Let's cast this one back out. Milan, sorry dude, I can't read that. I wish I could. Try if you can convert it to English, that'd be really cool. But welcome to the stream everybody. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. Much appreciated. Ash! Ashley Woodward, welcome my friend. There we go. Uh, join the group, there's a lot of members on there as well that will help, yep, join that group my friend, that group is awesome, that big time of Joe just shared the link to, a really good group, really friendly, a lot of advice, a lot of opinions, some right, some wrong, who knows, but you sort of decide for yourself, you alright big bug, I'm really good Ashley, I hope you're keeping well my friend, 
Maximus SVK, how are you my friend, welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream everybody, wow guys, you guys are amazing, guys and girls, don't forget to give us a little thumbs up guys, that would be really cool, whoa, need to concentrate a little bit, <laughs> wasn't concentrating, English in chat please, yes please my friend, that would be really cool. I bug I caught free boss carp on milky toffee on mana nice that's an achievement in itself mana I, I done okay on mana last time we fished it actually I think that was the last stream we done and uh we done all right to be fair another little carp got to pick up this worm rig because uh you never know it might be a perch Let's hope so. Oh, this feels like a different fight. The way it's bobbing around. It's moving closer to their margins. Fingers crossed, guys. Accepted. Oh, nice one. Nice. That is awesome. Space Oddity. Hi, Big Bug. How are you? Have you caught any boss yet? We've not been fishing long, my friend. Only like five ten minutes uh we've not had any boss yet i'm really cool by the way thank you for tuning in i really appreciate it don't forget to give us a little thumbs up guys and girls that'd be really cool Leighton jones just tried that link and it's not available really let me try it uh no it comes up page not found you might want to double check that link my friend Here we go, Let's see if we can get this in. I'm hoping this is going to be a perch. It's not fighting like a monster. Mind you, if it is a perch, it's fighting quite hard. But I've no idea how they fight on this game, but it just feels different, this fight. Doesn't feel like the usual sort of fight. Come on, in you come. That carp just laying there patiently in the net, I call that. Or oh. this one's in the danger zone. Someone made a good point in the group, actually. I don't know if uh, those of you that are members of the Dovetail's uh, social fan group that Big Timer J runs. But um, basically, someone said, I wonder if they've put the real speed in so that in the next update, there's lures. And I thought, yeah, that's a good point. You can sort of slow it down, speed it up. God, this fish is fighting hard. Just give him a little bit of stick. Come on, in you come. We've had enough in that. Whoa, that's a nice fish. Look at that. Nice linear. That's a lovely fish. First linear out of here. Very nice. Looks very similar to the fish I've caught on other lakes. 28 pound. Not bad, not bad. Love the uh, worms. Let's get this one back out before we look at rod two. I want to fish this one quite close if we can. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry if I'm missing your comments, guys. I am doing my best. Aaron, welcome. Aaron Dawson, welcome to the stream, dude. Thank you for tuning in. And let's have a look at this one here. Nice comment. Ah, oh, press the button now. I'm going to have to skip through this fish quite quickly. Nice common. Okay. Um, big timer Jay, could you remove uh, Milan please? Just ban him. Don't worry about anything else. Just ban him. That'd be awesome. Feels good. Leighton, you found it. Whoa, look at this. This is fighting like a nut. This is as mad as a box of frogs, look. Look at this. <laughs> really? What is this fish all about? 
having a heart attack. This fish, wow. Yes, he's ready. Right. Rod 3 is gone. Get this one under control. Thank you, big timer, Joe. If he steps out of line again, just uh, just ban him. We ain't got time for that. Uh, Ryan Rankin, hi. How are you? <clears throat> Caught sushi retro and sad Ken and Shazad last night on the lack. Very nice, Mr. Spirit Wolf. That is awesome, my friend. How's things, mate? Uh, really cool. Really cool, Matt. Thank you. Still won't work. I'll share the group in a second. Let me um, let me do a bit of multitasking here. Let me get Facebook up. I'm not sure why it's not. I think you got to make sure you're signed into Facebook as well, guys. By the way, let me get a group up. Two seconds. Feels like a nice fish. This one. Not gonna lie. Uh, there we are. Copy. Whoa. Careful now. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to copy and paste this link, guys. There you go. <clears throat> Let's see what this is. That was a big splash, wasn't it? Nice. Look at that lovely mirror. Definitely looks like one that I've caught before. Nice mirror carp, 22 pounds. Took us on a good run, that fish. Now, I'm interested what's on rod one, actually, because it looked a little bit different to me. It's either a tench or a perch. It's upside down or bream. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at that. That is lovely. What a lovely fish. Big old tench. Nine pounds, 12. Came in upside down. Tricked us into thinking it could be a bus fish. But at least we're getting to the slightly smaller fish, which is really good, which is what I wanted. Um, if need be, I'll put all three rods on um, worm. That's the kind of link bug. <laughs> is that one working, yeah? Any new species? Number two. Let's get this one out. That's the same link. It's not working now. Let me check it. If I click on it. Page not available. The link following may be broken or page may have been removed. What the hell? That is strange. Right guys, if you go to Big Timer J's page, on his... Um, channel banner when you look at his channel on the right hand side you'll see links for actually I wonder if I put it in my last video in the description I think I might have done I'm not 100% sure but if you look on big timer Joe's page you'll see a link on on his banner his channel banner on the right hand side you'll see a, a link to Facebook so you should go check that out. Definitely one way or the other. Um, really cool group. Really cool group. Let's hope you start hooking some big carp soon. Yeah, we definitely will. Don't panic, my friend. If we don't, we'll move. We can always move around the lake a little bit. CJM UK5. Hi, big bug. Just joined the stream. Have you caught a perch yet? No, we haven't. We have not caught any perch yet. I have one rod on worms. So we are trying. Bug, what type of rigs do you use when you go fishing? I use a multi-rig, um, which has got a stiff uh, hinge. Or the stiff link, if you like. I use that as a boom with the supple braid end, um, which I use a water knot to sort of 
time together or an Albright knot as it's known um, and I generally fish sort of a size 6 with a snowman rig 15mm boiling and a 10mm pop up and I use like a blowback style rig you know with a little piece of uh, sort of tubing on the hook um, I mainly use a lot of free running leads uh, with a shocker bead system but this season I think I'm going to go to like a helicopter rig or something like that that's what I use when I go fishing for real um, I also use a lead clip system uh, so that the if the fish gets snagged they can pop the lead off um, with just like a, a nice supernatural braid uh, sort of soft you know the soft supple one it just depends really on the situation I'm in and how I feel on the day. I occasionally use chod rigs, hinge rigs. It just depends. I tend to try and keep my rigs reasonably simple if I'm honest. When I go fishing for real in real life. But I definitely will do uh, vlogs this season so I'll show you guys all that. Maybe you guys can tell me where I'm going wrong. That'd be really cool. Wow, all three rods are going madman right now. Right. Pick rod one up because it's on the worms. I'm hoping. Hoping. If we can tighten up to it. Here we go. That we're going to catch a perch soon. That would be really cool. Red maggot, big bug. Ah, okay. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll stick some maggots on with a float zone then, guys. What do you reckon? Hold on. Got all three rods running. Yeah, we definitely have, my friend. There's slots of pegs on the new lake. Yeah, there's a lot of pegs on this new lake. I've noticed that. And the sad thing is, look, you could have a few AI players, couldn't you, on the other side of the lake? That'd be really cool. This feels like a half-decent fish, I'm not going to lie. It's not massive, but... Rod 3 is just, like, heading for the hills. He's going skiing up the mountain by the looks of it. JG Griffin. Loving your feeds, Big Bug. Just set up on Bird Bergsy. Nice one, my friend. Thank you very much for the kind words. That is really cool. And welcome to the stream. Miss Spirit Wolf, what size rod are you using, baby? I'm on the 13-footers. I do like the 13-foot rods. I think these are the 13-footers. Yeah, I think they are. Uh, the long-range rods. The reason I go for these ones is because if I want to fish far out, I can but they seem to perform okay close in as well, so this fish is a beast. I'm going to lose that Rod 3 one, which will be a shame, but... <clears throat> I don't believe in putting the rod down until this one's in. I used to do that, but here we go. Let's take our time and have a little... Whoa, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Tighten the slack up. Here we go. We are away. 113 yards that fish made it. I bet it's a bream. I never use chog rigs because if there's an old carp, we'll see it. Won't bite. It just depends on the situation, uh, GC, to be honest, regarding chod rigs. I've had a lot of success on chod rigs, even when it's not weedy. Um, so, but I do, when I say a chod rig, I don't have it high off the bottom. If, if it's on the bottom, I have it so it's very close to the bottom. So, almost like the length of a hook close to the bottom. Very, very close. Takes me a long time to try, tie a chod rig because of how close I have it. Here we go. Nice tench. Awesome. Let's put some uh, vape in me vape while this is happening. A tench, six pound five ounces. That's not too bad, guys. I mean, look at the colours of that. That is awesome. I do like tench. In real life, I catch a tench. A lot of people get peed off for catching tench. I love them. 
I think they're a stunning fish. One of my favourites, along with uh, Crucian Carp. That's another fish I'd like to see added. Right, number two. Let's have a look at this one, see what we got. Look at that, nice ghosty, like a football. £19.2. CJM UK5 Rod 1 is a £2.5 ounce perch. I hope you're right, dude. We've not seen a perch yet. So I think we should uh, maybe alter our tactics. Still fighting well. Look at that. That's a big old linear, that one. Connor Wilson, what do you think about spam? I don't like spam, Connor. Anyone spams, I get banned. Oh, you mean for bait? <laughs> Sorry, Connor. I'll give you a, a tip about... If you're going to use spam or luncheon meat, um, what I do is I do use that. Not very often, but what I do is I cut it into the cubes or whatever shape you want to use. Um, and then... I use hemp oil in a frying pan, just a little bit of hemp oil, and I very, very lightly fry it before I take it. And what that does is it puts a hard skin around the luncheon meat while soaking in that hemp as well. And um, so when you put it on a hair rig or you put it on, on a hook, it stays on for a bit longer because obviously it's got a harder skin around it. So there's my tip of the day, guys. One that's worked extremely well from... Oh, I picked up the wrong rod. Hello. See, trying to read comments. Here we go. Which I don't mind, obviously. I love talking to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Big time of J, but ha ha ha. Jenna, my game is clear. Awesome. Nice lake. Do you like uh, the fish on this lake? fight hard. Aaron, they do seem to fight quite hard. I'll give you that. Definitely. Who is BF or Lancer? No idea. No idea, my friend. Albie Brannan. Give me two seconds, my friend. I'll read your comment. I have seen it. Let me just... They seem to fight really hard. Wait, wait, then. Really hard under the tip. You are my favourite YouTuber for Euro Fishing. You were the one who made me get the game. Nice one, Albie. That is awesome, dude. Thank you for the kind words. I really appreciate that. Connor, okay, thank you. Yeah, Connor, give that a go, my friend. A bit of hemp oil. Like, um, and I'll give you a, a. I don't know if you're in the UK, but let me give you a tip for hemp oil, guys. Don't go to the fishing shop and pay all that money for it. Go to Tesco's, right? Go to the oil section, and they do hemp oil. It's in a big glass bottle, and it's so much cheaper. It's about, I think it's about five quid for a big glass bottle of it. And um, it's the legit stuff. It's not, it's not crap. And um, yeah, buy it from Tesco's, guys. It's about five quid a bottle. Much cheaper than the fishing shop. Here we go. Or any sort of bait shop you'll get it from. They love to charge the earth for it, don't they? I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this rig, guys. I'm going to put this rig on an IQD6. But I want to fish the 8mm. Now, 8mm boilie on a size 6 rig seems almost ludicrous, doesn't it? But this is Euro fishing, so let's see what happens. It's a small enough... Uh, bait for smaller fish. Well, let's see what happens there. We'll maybe spot in a minute. I'll read your comments. I've had perch on size 12 stiff rig on green pop-up maggot. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't bring any maggots, my friend. This feels like a nice fish. It's not taking line, but oh, it is a little bit. Oh, yeah. Let's lift that rod up a little bit. Here we go. This is on the worm. I'll, 
purposely went for the worms in hope of just picking up the odd, uh, okay, hemp oil sounds good. Yeah, or even if you use like a sunflower oil, Connor, you can use a sunflower oil and uh, use a little bit of that. But as I say, with spam or luncheon meat, it just puts a, a skin on it. You don't want to burn it. You just want it to be just tough enough that you can put your hook through or your hair rig, whatever. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, in you come. I think we're going to change swims, guys. Also, when I change swims, I'm going to uh, put on some maggots. Another little carp by the looks of it. Doesn't look massive. Nice common. £25. Right. What do we rate, guys? Let's, um, oh, let's get that one first, yeah? Before we move. Maybe we'll try, like, the complete other end of the lake. Not seeing any fish showing on this lake whatsoever. It's almost dead. Although we're catching fish, if that makes sense. This is only a small one. Oh, I'm getting a lot of that all of a sudden. That blue, 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 blue. This fish is not happy. Look. I don't know what's going on with this one. <laughs> what is going on with this? Come on, what are you doing? It doesn't want to play darts, this one. Whoa, here we go. Whoa, look at that. Are any idea what that is? Is that a tench upside down or something? Nice tench, thank you very much. Okay, BB, going to try the new lake. See you later. Take care, Miss Spirit Wolf. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you have a great session on your new lake. We are going to quickly pack that down. We're going to find a signpost. There's one over there. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put some maggots on. We're going to... I just want to add some maggots and a size 12 rig. That's what I'm thinking. Let's maggot bash it. We want to perch, don't we? That's what we want to see. I mean, we've seen all the others. Edit tackle box. Yep. Let's take off that. Red maggots. And we want a size 12, so... Go float no. Let's go that one. Yep. Make a change. Alright, let's go this way. Do 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 lovely. Oh look there's like a little hut on the hill over there. You can see look where it cut the water comes down off the mountain through this little sort of spring. Very nice. I reckon fish here, next to that. Claim peg, yes please. Okay. Size 12, red maggot, rod 1. We're fishing close guys. Use a float BB, I definitely will in a little while my friend if this doesn't work out. Right, we're going to come close. We're going to go 16 yards. We're going to do the same with rod 2. We're going to go red maggot size 12. Just next to it. Off now, BB. Yes, put red maggot on, says Aaron. I'm going to the lake now, tight lines. Thank you, Aaron, for tuning in. Much appreciated, my friend. I hope you catch a couple of whoppers. 
and we're going to put the worm size 10. So we've still got a chance of a nice size fish, I reckon. <coughs> we're going to fish these very close. We'll start at 16 yards. I might get closer than that, though. Don't be surprised if I do. Let's have a drop of my drink. All right, let's just catch up with your comments. Mad Freestyler. Hi, Big Bug. It's Hodfather's son's friend. Oh, nice one, dude. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that. I hope you're keeping well. Let's get a bit of spod on the spot. Spod on the spot. Still not seeing any showing fish whatsoever. Have you noticed that? Now, it's one of the key features that I look for when I'm fishing is showing fish so this could be oh hang on i think i just see some on the other side actually i think i just see some if i put the peak of my hat on it i'll show you just over where the peak of my hat is just over there we'll see how we get on okay first fish on the red maggot Here we go. It's taking line. Wow. Red maggot, size 12 hook. Could be the one. My fiance caught a perch on bread punch. Nice. You know, it's funny, Jack. I um, I was saying, I think in my last stream, a friend of mine caught a perch on a black piece of zigged, uh, zig rig on a black piece of foam. Very funny. When he caught it. Yo, yo, I'm back. Did I miss much? Ben Walters, how you doing? No, you've not missed much, my friend. We've just uh, put on some maggots and um, we had a little change of swim. We are looking for showing fish, but we're not seeing a lot, to be honest. Come on, in you come. Let's have a look at you. Let's see what these wor maggots are catching. I was going to say worms then. We have got worms on rod three. So we'll see how that goes. We might have to fish a little bit closer, guys. That's what I'm thinking. Come on. In you come. Yes. A carp. Very nice. Fishing this lake now, a little bit different, playing fish for some reason. Your videos are great. Keep up the good work, Big Bug. Thank you so much, Callum Rub. Much appreciated. £28.15 ounces. Look at that. What stunning fish. On the old maggots. Carp love maggots, by the way. It's a big winter fishing tactic, using maggots for carp. Get that in a little bit closer. There we go. Rod 3 is off on the one. Oh, no. Rod 3 is now cancelled. We'll just recast that. Keeping it close. Hello, my friend. Hi, Fraps LP. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Hope you're keeping well. Hope everybody's having a great evening. Although I've been feeling a little bit under the weather, just a bit stomach ache, nothing major. Um, it's a nice feeling knowing that I'm off work for four days now. <laughs> Here we go. This only feels small. Yep, that one's ready to come in. Oh, picked up the wrong rod. That one came off. Oh, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Wow, the game had a moment there, or I did, one of the two. Here we go. I've got a feeling we might have a diddy perch or a little roach or something on that other rod. Come on, in you come. I use dead maggots in winter as chum. Yep, yeah, dead maggots are definitely the one. You find when the water's very cold anyway, the maggots don't last long. They uh, 
they die off quite quickly. But you can also suffocate maggots, guys. If you've got a lot of maggots, you've got a nice, strong, clear bag. You can push all the air out of the bag. And they sort of die off. You know, they stop wriggling. And then um, put them in the fridge. And then when you... Oh, look at that. First bream of the session. Then when you open the bag and the warmer air gets into them, they start wriggling again. Ten pound, not bad. We're catching a nice variety of fish, which is really cool, which is what we want. We still, however, want a perch. Let's hope this is a perch. This is only something small. Yes, first perch of the game. And there it is. Look at the colours of that. That is awesome. Normally, where them the £3.9 ounces, where you see them in between the dark stripes, it's green. Usually, that's like a, a goldy sort of browny colour. But I'll take that. First perch of the game. £3.9 ounces. So, a welcome addition, definitely. And swapping to the maggot and the... Um, was that a maggot? I think it might have been. What rod are we on? Rod 3. That was on the worm. So there you go. So Maggot brought on the, the bream. Let's go again. We want to go about 15 yards out. Thank you, Perch. Well done. Nice bug. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. You're all awesome. Go about 15 yards. I've always sworn by fishing close on this game. Always. I mean, I fish, I fish up sort of 10, 15 yards on average, and people fish closer than that and still do really well on the game. And I like to keep my rods. There we go. We're off. So we have another perch. That'd be really cool. Noddy Tyler, welcome my friend. Zanzi Barbarian, £3.9 perch. Looks small for its size. Yeah, it kind of did I suppose, but still a nice perch. I love the colours of it to be fair. When Dovetail going to release a river like the River Raven or Seven, I have no idea. We don't know what's next. Bearing in mind, this is the last lake on the season pass. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so it'll be interesting to see what they're going to add to it in the future. I'm sure they will. I don't think they're going to leave it here. Pike 500. Just caught a £9 tench on the new lake. Nice one, dude. Koi. Which DLC is your favourite? Oh, now there's a question. <coughs> um, I like Le Lac de Nord. I'll be honest, my favourites out of the DLCs, not the original game lakes, but the DLCs, Le Lac de Nord was very good. I wasn't over keen on uh, Walled Sea, but um, I liked it still. And Manor Farm, I like Manor Farm. It's been hard for me, but I like it. So, really and truthfully, I quite like them all. They've all they all add something a little bit different, which is what I like. What vape juice you on? What? Vape juice, you still on big bug. Uh, Matt, I I mix up sort of two hundred and fifty to five hundred mil bottles, so it could be two fifty to five hundred. So a lot of my juices are the same. Like tonight, I've got um, New York cheesecake with a touch of lime. I've got my favourite custard one, my vanilla custard, with uh, marshmallow and cheesecake, and I've also still got the game of scones, which is um. Obviously, a jam scone with cream. Uh, and I buy all my juices from Dark Star. Maybe they'll fix the big ghosty. Yeah, I mean, I'd be interested to see that. 
to be fair. That'd be really cool. Four pound three ounce, 24 yards out and worm. Happy days, Berg C. Nice one, Jay Griffin. Very nice. Aaron, Manor Farm and St. John. I like St. John's uh, for the original game. Definitely, when it was just the first five lakes, I think it was, that came out. Uh, that was definitely my favourite. There we go. Rod one. So the worms work well, guys. I'm not going to lie. Red worm seems to be doing the, the business with catching a few fish. I'd like to see a few boss fish. I'm still a bit concerned about not seeing fish showing. I'm thinking maybe we'll take a trip to the other side of the lake soon. See what's over there. I hope they put the Audrey River in. I think it would be a... Okay. Nice big river. I know there's some big carp in some of those rivers over in France, uh, GC. Some very big carp, so that'd be interesting. Come on, here we go. I'm on pear drops. It's really nice. Oh, yeah, pear drops. But that is nice, my friend. I've got a, a couple of others here. I think I'm... Oh, I just pressed the wrong button. I think I've already told you I've got... Um, look at the size of that tench. That is a monster. That's got to be a boss, surely. It's not. £12.15 ounces. Look at that. What a tench. Wow. Right, let's get Rod 3 then. Rod 3 is ripping off. Rod 2 also. This one's coming in quite easy. Nothing too big, I shouldn't imagine. Right, that one's ready. That looks tiny, that fish. Wow. We'll have a look at that in a second. Not keen on New Lake, very plain, says Artful Dodger. It is. It's a bit of a fishbowl. But um, there's a lot of lakes in the UK that are like this. I know this is based in Austria. So I've kind of fished on lakes like this before. <coughs> Excuse me. And no perch on any other lakes. No, it's just this one for the time being. As I understand it. I know my PB in there, £56. Very nice. Very nice. That is a big old fish, that GC. Callum Rob, just got my first boss on this lake, £28.11 common, called SJ, very nice, well done Callum, that is awesome, we're still in the hunt for a boss, nice coil, they definitely seem to fight a little bit differently, I don't know if it's me, but they definitely, look at the size of that, that's a big old one, that's got to be what, 22? 23 £25.4 look at that beautiful colours get that one back I want to check out what this tiny little fish is that's got to be a roach surely that's small <laughs> look at the size of that it's huge £1.9 ounces, that's never £1.9 ounces, that is tiny. I'd give that the best of 6 ounces. Right, let's cast these back out. Keep them nice and close. It's in Germany, BB. Oh, is it? Is it Germany, is it? I don't know why I thought I read Austria somewhere. My bad. Actually, now you've said that, I think you're right. Where did I read that it was in Austria? 
I thought Wald C was Germany and this one was Austria. Here we go. And rod one. Should have put them prawns on, shouldn't I? Hmm. Thirty-one pound lever on worm bird sea, all caught. Close fifteen twenty uh, twenty to twenty five yards. Very nice my friend. A lot to be said for look at the speed of this fish. See it then, it was like darting around like a lunatic. It's got bream written all over it, I think. We'll see. Whoa, 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 easy. That came in very quickly. It's upside down. Now nah, that's a better roach. Look at that. That looks awesome. Look at the size of the eye on it. Very nice. Three pounds seven. Look at that. That is awesome. I do like roach. Not everyone's a cup of tea. When I'm fishing for them, that is really awesome. I still see the thumb comes through the tail when you hold it, but I'm sure they'll address that at some point. But that is awesome. On a nice red maggot. Let's cast that back out. What's the biggest on the lake, mate? Uh, I think I saw 30... Was it 30 some pound? 38, 39 pound? Anyone want grass car? Hi BB, have you had any perch? Callum 26, I have my friend. Q-U-R-E, what's the biggest on the lake mate? I'm sure it was... Uh, I'm sure it was 30 something. I might be mistaken. It was definitely 30 something, I'm sure. Holly G, 22 pound, 4 ounce koi, very nice. This lake looks like a lake come in Austria it could well I'm sure I read somewhere it was Austrian I thought Wald Sea was German the German lake Wald Sea and I had a feeling this one was Austria I mean I could be wrong um, Matt says it could be German I think he, he might be right it's either German or Austrian that's for sure do you think they should add pike DMZ clan. Um, yeah, why not? I mean, there's so many more species they could add. To be fair, still pressing the wrong button to get the spot in. <laughs> Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, guys. That'd be really cool if you could do that. If you're new around here and you like what you're seeing, you love a bit of fishing, you're definitely in the right place for that. Uh, why not subscribe? Summit 33 or 36? This is Austria, says Bradders. Hmm. So Bradders thinks Austria. I, I don't know where I read that. Might have been on the dovetail part. I've read so much, so much stuff on these games. It's... And I'm getting old, so it might be that I forgot. <laughs> Wind that in just a touch. Thank you. Irish Gaming with a £10 super chat. You're an absolute star. Keep up the good work, mate. Make sure everyone smashes the like button. You beautiful creatures. Big heart. Everybody hashtag Irish Gaming in, in the chat. That would be really cool. And please, please, please go check out that guy's channel. He does some great content. Um, sort of horror games and things like that. Fortnite does a lot of Fortnite stuff, but you're an absolute star, Irish Gaming. Thank you so much, my friend. Obviously, any donations go back into the the channel. So whether it be for another game for the channel or a season pass or whatever it will be, you're an absolute star, my friend. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Hundred percent Austria. Connor Wilson will do, mate. If you guys want a link to Irish Gaming's channel, if you can't 
for some reason click on him in the chat he's also in my recommended youtubers on the front of my page so you can look at the front of my page and on the right hand side you will see youtubers I recommend and he'll be on there along with Big Timer J and Dragon's Place there's a couple of good good guys on there to be fair some real good guys on there oh 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 look at Rod Thro whoa this one's going a bit mad a bit like a box of frogs here we go this fish is absolutely crazy that rod three is I'm very very interested to have a look at rod three now I want to give this one a little bit of stick just to get it in I don't usually here we go I want to get on that rod three look how far it's gone wow well, it's coming back very quickly though uh, it's going to be a small carp I think that absolutely ripped across the lake Rod 3 looks happy Irish Gaming you are so right look how quick it come in though look it's like yeah I want to I want to come in I want to have a look what it is Rod 1 looks like a decent sized prim. No way. No way. No way. That's got to be some sort of boss roach. Because if that just went over 100 yards. 2 pound, 2 ounce roach just took me across the lake. Well, oh nah. I don't know about that one. I thought we'd come back quick. This looks like a decent bream though. Any boss perch? Wiggle Nation. Thanks, Matt. Uh, Matt, just subscribe to Irish Gaming. Thank you so much, Matt. Whoa, wow, look at that one. Matt, you're a star. £10, 7 ounces. That is awesome. Look at that. Look at the colours of it. We've had some big tench off this. <coughs> I need to get a drink. Wow, two seconds. something nice about Vimto juice I'm not really into kids drinks and sort of cordial drinks if I'm honest I normally drink water but I fancy the Vimto tonight and I made a pint of Vimto very watered down look at that one like a football like a little plate and I absolutely downed it just in this stream wow nine pound that is special that bream for a bream I mean it's not bad like a little footy Right, here we go. Let's cast these back out. Get them nice and close. And rod two. Big time of the J retracted his message. Matt put it's Matt Irish game. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, no worries. He comes on an, in stealth mode on his uh, wife's account. I think it is, isn't it, Matt? Here we go. Right, nice. But, ha ha, sorry, no, no problem, my friend. Thank you, Connor. I've just subscribed to all your recommended channels. Nice one, Connor. You're an absolute star. It's cool. Thank you, Connor. Just call £25, 7 ounce ghost car, Pike 500. Nicely done. There's Boss Bream, double that one. Yeah, very nice. Ryan, Mythical Gamer. Have you caught any perch yet, Bug? Yep, yeah, we've had a couple of perch. Did we have a couple or one? Uh, it was three pound nine ounces. One of them that we caught. I am thinking about changing swims back to the other side. I'm not seeing any showing fish, which is really bizarre in a lake that holds a lot of small fish. You'd expect to see a lot more sort of showing fish. 
I haven't walked around the lake, so I've not really looked. I've kind of, because for the sake of the stream, I've kind of just jumped in and, yep, yeah, we'll fish here. You know? Let's have a look at this one. KK, have a good stream, Bug. Thank you all for subs and always be positive. Irish Gamer, you're an absolute star. Thank you for the super chat. Dude, I hope you have a great evening, great week, great weekend. And uh, thank you for popping in, dude. You're an absolute star. Going to play for a bit. Good luck, my friend. And uh, have fun. There we go. It'll be awesome when I sort out a PC and a little, you know, I'm going to move and then I'm going to sort a PC out. And uh, I'll be able to get subscribers up on the screen and people that do super chat I'll be able to put up. There you go. There's a perch. Very nice. Look at that. Fins up. Not happy. Slightly different color body that one. That is interesting. I like the variation. That is really cool. £2.11 ounces. Nice to see a, a nice perch on the bank. Here we go. I don't mind this maggot bashing, you know. This maggot bashing's alright. Try fishing to your right with a worm on a float. Yeah, I think you could be right. Float could be the one. We could do that, guys. We could, you know, get a float out and... Have a little walk about, maybe. Just um, hooked into this one. It feels decent. It's given a bit of a fight. It's given a bit of line tension. I mean, we have got 18 pound braid on, so. Jason Park, can you give me some help on how to catch MC's BB at the dock? Cheers. No problem. Um, I call MC's. I fished opposite the hotel. And I fished at 60 yards out. And I was using 15 mil tiger nuts. And high vis. Was it high vis pop up? No. Activate. 15 mil tiger nuts. 15 pound line. Let me tell you. When you hook that fish. That fish took me a serious amount of time to get in. It came up on my uh, records as a £93 carp. <coughs> Excuse me. That's definitely the place. So opposite that hotel, 60 yards out. That's where you need to be. I've not fished the foundry for a long time now. In fact, I might even do a stream on the foundry soon. We'll see. Come on in you come. It's giving up a good little fight this fish. Not going to lie. I've got a feeling this lake's going to produce a lot of boss fish at night. That's what I think. But apparently it's pitch black on here in the box, so not too sure about that. Maybe we'll see how it goes. This fish is fighting hard right now. Eight yards in the danger zone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come on, in you come. Looks like a little carp. Crank up the pressure. Yep, little cup. Try fishing to your right. Yeah, I read that one. I always catch perch on a float, says Connor. Oh, look at that. Look how long that fish is. Should have called that the cod. That is a long fish. Really nice to see a change of shape. <coughs> Excuse me, because often um, carp do come in all shapes and sizes, as we know. Right, let's pack this swim down. I'm literally just going going to move around the lake. Let's go this way. There's a signpost over here. 
I want to jump to the other side of the lake and have a look, see if we can see some showing fish. Uh, quick travel. Now, where was we? We started up here, I think. Let's go down here. Not seeing any showing fish whatsoever. Come on, dovetail, give the dog a bone. We need some signs. Do like the water colour and the, the sort of rocks around the edge. It's a nice feature. Nothing, nothing showing whatsoever. Oh, can't walk around that bit. There we go. Wow, look, they've even added some colourful flowers. Very nice. Some flowers around the tree. Okay, so we're looking for a few showing fish. That's what we're looking for. Got a feeling they're all going to be in one spot. I asked, but no reply. Oh, my apologies, my friend. Fish with float off the edge. Yep, yeah, we'll definitely will do in a little while, uh, Connor. What did you ask, um, DMZ Clan? Sorry, my friend. Very difficult to uh, keep up with uh, the chat sometimes, so I do apologise. Not one shown fish. Really? Alright. Let's fish down here somewhere. Okay. Rod one. Not even sure what's on that rod now. Uh da, 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 da. size ten on a worm. Is that rod one or rod three? Let's have a look. Rod three. Rod one. Red maggot. Again, don't want to cast too far out. What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to fish close again for a little while. See how we get on. If we pick up a lot of small stuff, then I'm going to fuzz the rods into the middle of the lake. Let's see how we get on then. If Perch was only on this lake, laugh out loud. It's okay, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, they've they've put a mixture of fish on this lake. There isn't any catfish in this lake, ironically. Not that we've caught. Oh. Or there isn't any boss catfish on this lake, that's for sure. You don't need help, BB, with your skills. Good luck. Keep up the great work, BB. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. It's always strange when I sort of do a live stream and especially like today, the lake's just come out. I've not had a chance to get my head round where the fish are yet or but we're trying different things. Everyone was saying red maggot. We went to red maggot and worm. We caught a perch, which was the intention. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um so that's really good. But I'm getting a feeling for me, I think the fish are gonna be in the middle in the deeper water but we shall see I'm thinking about that gravel bar in the mid middle of the uh, lake if I'm honest that one's in let's get this one okay feels okay feels decent 
it's taking line which is very encouraging not had a fish take some line for a while not once we've hooked into it AJ yes this is the only lake you can uh, catch perch on my friend at the moment obviously until they release further lakes or whatever they do uh looks decent bb it's not bad connor to be honest it's not a bad little lake it's very plain i admit that it's got some nice scenery around it with the mountains and the snow on the top um few trees nothing major it's a bit of a fishbowl what i call a fishbowl lake it's very deep in the middle now i'm interested to see what fish this is because it did take line first of all but we're going to just give it a little bit of stick. Just ease that pressure back as we get closer. Don't want to lose it under the rod tip. Very frustrating. <coughs> Excuse me. Well. <coughs> come on. In you come. Come on. Oh, it's fighting hard at the eight yard dash doesn't seem to want to come in don't forget to give us a little thumbs up guys that'd be really cool nice koi and a nice little common <coughs> excuse me very nice 22 pound two ounces and looks like a little common this one Beautiful colours, look at that. Really nice. Put some vape on me vape. Give me two seconds, guys. I love the colours of that fish. 20 pounds, look at that. I'd love to catch that fish in real life. Look at the colours of it. Stunning. Absolutely mint. All right. So I'm thinking a little bit further out, guys. <clears throat> Might have to grab a drink in a second, guys. You have to bear with me. Right, let's get this. Is this rod one? Yes, it is. Let's cast these a little bit further out. That's what I'm thinking. Let's go, say, 50 yards, 40 yards. It's <clears throat> on a silt bed there. Let's leave that there. Let's see what we can have at 50 yards out. There's also gravel beds on here, so maybe we'll locate a gravel bed and oh, give the gravel a chance. Just zap that over there as well. And the same with rod three. Zap that over there. Wouldn't you just love to have one of them little cottages that are dotted around the lake? One of them little huts. So you can just pop over the lake whenever you want. Catch a few fish. Just had a £3.13 ounce perch, mate. Very nice. I think it's, it's a big £30 plus carp. <clears throat> There's definitely a few 30s in here. Sorry about that. Didn't didn't want to cough in your ear roll. This feels okay. It's not I'm not gonna say it's massive at the moment, but it's giving a good fight. 63, 64, it's taking line. That's interesting, that is. If this is slightly bigger, that's very interesting that we went to the middle of the lake, we fished around the edges, and we caught a few decent fish, so if this is slightly bigger, 
to the middle of the lake then maybe that's where we need to be come on in you come 62 yards now 21 foot of water there it's just at three four foot so not too far under the surface All DLC season pass is £36. Yeah, that includes the Foundry, I think, that one, doesn't it? Um, DMZ Clan. Nice, dark prestige. Totally agree. Thank you. I'm going to buy Mana Farm and Foundry, probably. There is a Steam sale in a few days. Yeah, definitely worth it, my friend. <coughs> definitely worth it. Come on. I want to have a look at this one. We'll have to get this one in close if we can. Look like a koi. Or was that a brain? Give him a bit of pressure so we can get him in. Come on, in you come. Come on. He's, he doesn't want to come in this one. Really want to get that other rod, that'd be nice. Here we go. Come on, get in. Wow, this is fighting hard under the tip, this one. <coughs> Come on. Oh, the other one come off. That was a shame. Now we definitely want to get this one in. <clears throat> Below your feet. Just as it drops off, it's great for specimens. Okay. We'll check that out. Oh, oh. This definitely does not want to come in, this fish. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll get this fish in. I'll definitely have to uh, grab a drink quickly. It'll only take me two seconds, guys. Oh, here we go. Come on, come on. Come to Big Bug, get in the net. Come on. You know you wanna. Definitely not interested in coming in. I'm trying to keep that line tension up as high as I can. Uh, but it's bouncing around a little bit, which is making it a little bit difficult. Come on. Is this it? No. This has got to be a boss fish, this one. I'm convinced this is a boss. The way this is fighting, this fish, the way it fought out in the lake, definitely a boss. Come on. Could this be our first boss fish on Bergsea? Bergsea, as it was. Come on. I mean, I've got 18 pound braid on here. Yes. That looks like a carp. That's interesting. Let's pick this rod up quickly. That was an interesting fight from that carp, that's for sure. <clears throat> Another one that's taking line. Ninety-two yards. We'll have a look at that fish in a second. It definitely feels like we've got into the bigger fish as I've moved a little bit further out. 
I apologise if you comment and I've missed it or anything like that. It's very difficult sometimes to uh, to read. This lake is Boss Central. Had 12 already. A few duplicates. Oh, wow. Nice one, Spankus Monkey. Just caught my second perch. Nice one, Pike 500. This feels like a decent fish, this one. Let's see if we can uh, entice it in. What's the best DLC lake I am getting the season pass later? And I want to know what lake to fish first for bosses. Oh. La Lac de Nour is a good lake. Um, that is a good lake to start with, I think. They're all pretty good, to be honest. It depends what you want. If you want, like, big catfish and big carp then it'll be different you know <coughs> excuse me don't know what's wrong with my throat tonight wow here we go come on yes get in let's check this one out looks like one of them uh, big apple slice mirrors which it is very nice 23 pound right let's have a look at this other one this was the one that really did not want to come in. It's got to be a boss, surely. I mean, just caught SJ. Nice. Look at that. That is awesome. <clears throat> That's got to be £30, surely. £30, 14 ounces. Not a boss. Not a boss. Wow. Not sure what to say about that. Let's uh, let's get that in. Right, let's change that to size six IQ D rig on a boilie. I want to put a boilie on. Right, let's go. So we fish the middle. Let's like cast under our feet. Let's get close. <coughs> seven foot there if I bring that speed down slightly and I'll whack it back up nine yards that'll do nicely we'll do the same with this one Just there and same with this one so we've got a boilie <coughs> a worm and a maggot right we are fishing super close no age in chat what's that uh, da, 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 da. How old are you? No age in chat. Yep, fair one, big timer. <coughs> Can I join? Use D pad DMZ. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me, wow. Okay, so we come close. Let's see what we can get close in. Feels decent. Hi, Big Bug. Missed all the stream up to this point. What have I missed? We've not managed uh, decan plays. Any boss fish yet. Um, we are trying. We've had a couple of perch. We've had carp up to £30. Pounds. Um, so, yeah, we're still trying to master it, really. Now, what I'm going to say, guys, the sun has started to go down on this lake. So, if it goes super dark... And I do honestly think a lot of the boss fish will come out in the dark. But if it goes super dark, I'll have to start it again for you guys. And um, so we're fishing in daylight. Because I don't think you guys are going to see a lot when it's night. Should have been a boss. Yeah, definitely should have been a boss, I think, my friend. Come on. 
Okay, here we go. Come on, in you come. But definitely fight harder closer in. That's how it feels. Maybe I'm um, losing my touch a bit, but... Come on. Got a couple of other fish on here. Let's get this one in. Yes! Nice little koi. This one's going along the margins. <coughs> Excuse me. Throat is on one tonight. Yeah, they do. Kenny, nice one, dude. Does anyone know a good rig for boss roach on any lake? <coughs> I tried to catch them first. Um, anything with like size 12 hook and smaller, I would say, would be a good good start. Light lines, maybe. I don't suppose line makes much of a difference, to be honest. Right, that's awesome. So we've got one, two. So this must be three. Yep. Come on, in you come. Come on. Again, feels like a nice fish. Not going to say it's a boss. God, blimey, is that the time? <gasps> time is running short. Okay. Let's see if we can get this one in. Come on. I think I'm going to bring my classic baits to this this lake next time. Tiger nuts, activate, <coughs> that kind of thing. Couple of pop-ups. Let's see if we can uh, find the fish because we've seen no shame fish whatsoever. So we've had nothing to go at. Come on, in you come. Come on. Yeah, that's in the net. That's got to be. Yes. Let's have a look what we got. What's your favourite fish to catch in real life, Big Bug? Callum, I'm a carp angler in real life, so it's carp for me all day long. Paul P had a 14 pound 5 ounce tench, not a boss. Wow. What did I catch earlier, guys? Was it a 12 pound tench or 13 pound? It wasn't a boss. Hey, big bug, I'm going fishing this weekend. Have you got any suggestions for natural baits that I could use? Um, it's always hard when fish are feeding on naturals because naturals are so small <coughs> um, it, it really is hard because of the time of year as well it's quite cold but you know never disregard things like bread and sweet corn and things like that because they're really good Again, spam again is really good. Or lunch and meat, a nice bream there, guys. Nine pounds seven. Maggots, worms, carp love all that sort of thing. Stuff that they don't really get caught on a lot, you know. But it really does depend on the lake. The angler with the most success is normally the one that thinks outside the box, Connor. You know, sometimes you've got to take a risk. Prince, welcome to the stream, dude. Says nice. Prawns are good. Uh, yeah, prawns are very good. Casters also uh, been effective. Just had pot linear boss. Everyone's catching boss fish except me, guys. What is going down here? 
Right. Last casts, I'm going to say, for this one. Let's make it count. Let's go back to the 50 yards, because that's where we were catching the bigger fish. When I come back on here tomorrow, I know a lot of people are off school this week and stuff like that, off work. So, I'll probably stream maybe a little bit earlier tomorrow. We'll see how we get on, see how I feel. Um, we're definitely going to come back with tiger nuts, activate boilies, stuff like that, yeah? And we'll give that a go. And we'll see if we can really get this lake going. <laughs> see if we can find the fish. That's the one. Finding the fish. Right, we're going to do this as long casts. Bug, I'm going to take off. Take care. Have a good night. Bye, chat. Thank you so much, Big Timer Joe. You're an absolute star as always. Don't forget, everyone, go check out Big Timer Joe's channel for me. That would be really cool. Click on the link to the Facebook page, which is a Dovetail Euro Fishing social fan page that Big Timer runs. Absolute awesome page. You want information on what to, where to catch something or the best baits that's going, that's definitely the place to be on Facebook. Just caught range, £19.10 bream. Very nice, Space Oddity. Wow, everyone. No! <laughs> Mrs. Big Timer J says, Bye, Bug. Thank you, Miss Big Timer J, for tuning in. You're an absolute star, and I hope you have a great evening. It doesn't get that dark. All right, we'll see. We'll see, guys. But don't forget, it's my first night off work, so I've not had a lot of sleep because um, I didn't get in until half past six this morning. I didn't get asleep till gone 8 o'clock. I got up at 11, so 3 hours sleep. Um, so, yeah, I'm struggling a little bit, you know. But no problem. Uh, I'll have a good night's kip tonight. And we'll really crack on with this lake tomorrow. And we'll definitely try to hook a few boss fish. I'm surprised we didn't get at least one boss fish, if I'm honest. I've got a feeling the boss fish are going to come in the dark. I really do think that. So, tomorrow... Prepare yourselves for a dark stream tomorrow because we're going to be going into the night time. We're going to do what we call like a full 24 hours on here. So it goes dark, etc, etc. Here we go. See what we got here. Can we salvage a boss fish? I mean, a lot of people are catching a lot of boss fish and we haven't managed one. So it makes me think we're doing maybe something wrong. I did really want to... Laters, Dino. Thank you very much, dude. Fair enough, dude. Says Kenny. Thank you, mate. Um, I just think we really wanted a perch. We managed a couple of perch. So we've had a look at them now. We will put the boss perch down. Come on in, you can Ooh, easy. Yes. Got it. Get in the net. That looks like a tent. Or a bream. Tent. Another big tent. Eleven pound twelve ounces. Almost got a wristband round its tail. Very nice though. We've had some nice fish, to be fair, just no boss. So I definitely will um hunt out the boss fish. I'll have a good night's kip tonight and we'll hunt them boss fish out. That is a hundred percent sure. Hey, there it is. So I don't know if you guys have noticed we've been getting a a dislike or two. <laughs> uh, in each of our streams we seem to be uh, we've picked up our disliker which is awesome because it all counts um, YouTube now except that not everybody's going to like your content so thank you for that whoever that was latest big bug take care my friend I haven't caught a boss yet says Pike 500 me and you both pal 
off for tonight bb look forward to your stream tomorrow mate really enjoyed thank you jay uh griffin look after yourself dude thank you for taking the time to come check us out thank you all for taking the time to come check us out hey big bug try cast out a spot yeah we're just about to cast that spot on that rod two ripped off didn't it we'll see what we can uh what we can do we'll have a quick look see how dark this lake gets as well just before we end the stream just out of interest so we know what we're up against tomorrow then guys you know um, we are going to go through the night tomorrow, so prepare yourselves. If you do tune in, that would be really cool. Don't forget, if you're new around here, give us a, a thumbs up. And why not subscribe? That would be really good. £23? Not bad. Let's get the spod rod out. Let's spod number three. See if we can catch a fish on three. I can't remember how far that was. Was it 50? 50 yards? Yeah, about there. Oh, line's up in the air there. Nice. Awesome. Do you vape? I certainly do, Kenny. Um, I've been vaping for a couple of years now. Second boss of the night, Breeze the Bream, £18.5. Nice one. There is a like from me. Thank you, Space Oddity. Oddity, you're an absolute star. I really do appreciate that, guys. And I appreciate all the support and love you guys bring to the stream. You're an absolute star as you are. It's always nice to catch up with you guys as well get to see a lot of the sort of familiar faces which is really cool great stream bbc sub and like brennan hot brennan hull thank you so much my friend you're an absolute star hi bb as normal great fishing and top man on euro fishing see you tomorrow if you on live cheers thank you jason park i hope you have a great evening I'll be joining the live stream tomorrow. Thank you, Connor Wilson. Absolute star. Right, let's bring this rod in a little bit closer. I'll give it a couple of minutes. I want to see how dark this is going to get. I mean, look at that mist setting in now. Look. That is awesome. The mist coming in and rolling in off the mountains. That is awesome. It does look good. Looks a bit creepy behind though, doesn't it? All you need to see now is like a big... A Bigfoot or a Yeti or something come running out. <laughs> you watch out quickly. I can swim to the middle of the lake. <laughs> I'm hopefully going fishing on Thursday. So tomorrow's stream will be really good. As I can watch while making up my bait. That is awesome my friend. Well I hope you have a great fishing trip on Thursday. It won't be long. I'll be out there as well. Um. I'm currently going to be putting a clip together of the sort of thing that you might see when I start to vlog my actual fishing trips. For those of you that don't know, I fish a syndicate water in Essex, um, in the UK. It is rock hard to catch fish on there. I mean, it's such a hard water. And so you're not going to see maybe a lot of fish, but it'll give you an idea what I'm up to when I'm out and about. Maybe you can join me on my journey to try and catch one of these fish from the syndicate. That would be really cool. But that will be happening from sort of mid-March, you know, sort of mid to end of March. We'll start getting that down. I've got a few bits, though, that I can sort of, a few clippings that I can cut together and give you a rough idea. So that would be really cool. And uh, maybe we'll do that. I'll add some little bit of music to it. Right, that rod 3 is not doing anything. Let's bring it in a bit closer. Let's bring it into 15. Just there. I'd like to catch a fish on this rod before we leave. That'd be really cool. New to your channel, got my first boss fish by using your video. Cheers, mate. The Scottish Frito, is that? nice one thank you so much though that is awesome it's always nice to hear when you guys have watched the video and it's it's give you something towards the game you know sort of it's helped you out in some way i think that is absolutely awesome 
And, you know, it, a lot of you guys, you sort of, um, you suggest things to me in the stream and I try it and it works or sometimes it doesn't work. That's why we can't always guarantee a boss fish because everybody's got different ideas. So I want to try bring them ideas on as much as I can. Like someone said, use red worm. So we used red worm. We caught the perch that we wanted, which was awesome. Um, we've not had a, any boss fish in this couple of hours, but a bit of a strange one, really, because, like I said, I was looking around the lake and I wasn't seeing any jumping fish, uh, nothing like that. Bring that rod three a little bit closer, I think. I'm just going to bring the line speed down, just so I can... Oh, bugger. Try that again, shall we? I'm just going to bring that line speed down, just so we can reel it in just a little bit. I want to bring it to about 10 yards. Like there. Awesome. Jojo, yo! How we doing, my friend? I hope you're keeping well. You caught us right at the end of the stream. Brennan Holt, at least now we will still get updates on Lake Spooks on Facebook earlier. Awesome. This is very true. Oh, oh, oh. We got that bite that we were looking for. Now, I'm not sure if this is classed as dark or not. It's not that dark, to be honest. So I think tomorrow we'll definitely um, we'll definitely go for some boss fish. I want to try to do a couple of edited videos as well, like I used to, where I I look for the boss fish, I find the boss fish, catch them, and then I edit it into a video for you guys. I used to enjoy doing them. Uh, they I found that live streaming with you guys was so much more enjoyable than sitting there editing a video for four hours by myself and doing a voiceover etc etc so I kind of dropped them off a little bit but if you guys want to see oi, oi, if you guys want to see edited videos again like that I can do that that's no problem oh wow come on oh my line look my real speed's down max that back out and we're back in business that's worth remembering Come on, in you come. Yeah, skin and it. Wasn't even that big, it was just my um, real speed was right down to two. So I kept thinking, what's going on? Nice little comment to end the stream there, guys. What can I say? Thank you very much to Irish Gamer for the super chat of £10. That is an absolute amazing. I appreciate that. Life of Louie, just, we're just about to end the stream, my friend. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that. It gets dark, the water will turn black. Okay. Looks like it's going rather dark now, I've got to say. Can't see. Oh, that is really creepy behind us. Looks like something out of a horror film, doesn't it? Run! <laughs> Giving myself the creeps. The hills and everything do look amazing. So we are going to fish into the dark tomorrow. I personally feel that a lot of the boss fish will come out during the darkness. So we're going to do that tomorrow. Um, but for now, the IQD rig with the small tuna boilies. Done okay, not too bad. The red maggot done okay. And so did the worm. It caught the perch we were after. We're definitely coming back tomorrow with tiger nuts, activate boilies, uh, some sort of uh, pop-up. Not quite sure which one yet. I'm going to read through the boss fish tonight. See what kind of thing that, you know, where they got caught from or what baits they're taking. You know the little description they get. I'll go through all that tonight. So thank you everyone for tuning in. Big time of Jay. Missed... This is Big Timer, Connor, uh, Life of Louie. Everyone go check out the Life of Louie for me. Go check out his channel. Does a lot of Fortnite uh, videos. Again, he's on my recommended, guys. So I am definitely 110% going to be here tomorrow for a stream. 
Um, not sure what time. What I'll do when I'm I've got a better idea of time, I'll put it on Facebook and Twitter. You can find my Facebook and Twitter feeds in my descriptions to my videos or on my channel, guys. But for now, big love, big bugs, hugs. Take care. Peace.